Hey, how's it going guys? Ricky Summer here and today I've peeled myself away from Elden Bling long enough to play Grendel for the very first time. But first, a message from our sponsor. The Salus Company. Safety and security in luxurious style. Tenno, welcome back to Warframe. Today we're going to play Kirby, I mean Grendel, for the very first time. So look, unfortunately I, I have been spoiled already on what his... His major conceit is, he schlorps, I know how he schlorps. If you look really carefully at his model, it's fairly clear how he schlorps. So with no further gilding the lily and with no more ado, let's, actually, let's read his blurb. I, I totally forgot about that. Consumer of worlds and everything else. <laughs> All right. The simplicity of that leads me to believe, and his design a little bit leads me to believe that maybe he's an older frame. But also, I'm kind of down with just how poetically simple that is. And looking at some of his bits, like, unless we, we get into a scenario where some of these elements are not colorable, I'm actually really, really pogged about, like, his kneecaps in particular. Those are metallic as hell, man! Like, they're chromed up. We can gold those or make them shiny. Ooh, ooh, yes. Let's have a look at abilities. <laughs> oh, yo. What the shit is that sword is wielding? It's like he just he stole a man's spine and put a hilt on it. What? Anyway, let's have a look at the passive. Each enemy consumed grants 50 bonus armor. Oh, okay. So yeah, look, listen, let's pierce the veil for a second. I know, I know. He opens up his stomach and consumes individuals. He's essentially Kirby the frame, <laughs> but I'm not really sure what that means, whether he takes their abilities or, or what's going on. So at the very least we get armor and presumably we're just like stacking armor as we schlorp individuals. And I can imagine there's 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 really not going to be a shortage of individuals to schlop. All right, first ability. Feast. Swallow an enemy whole and store it in Grendel's gut. Not satisfied? Keep eating. But beware, each foe in Grendel's belly slowly consumes energy. Hold to vomit out stored enemies, covering them in toxic bile. Jesus H. Mother of Margulis. What the fuck? Okay, so straight up, don't love that it's a drain, but surely we can mitigate that somehow. <laughs> Hang on, swallow an enemy hole and store it in Grendel's gut. So, but like, why? <laughs> I, I mean, aside from, from getting, oh, it damages them? Okay, so, hang on, so what I'm a little bit unclear on is, are we doing damage to the enemy we've schlorped? Or are we doing damage to external enemies once we vom upon them maybe it's both maybe it's both so it's a 10 meter radius it's actually pretty cheap to cast i like that so it's more probably more about the drain look we're gonna have to play around with this because i'm just yeah i'm just not too sure what happens to the guys in the gut as opposed to the individuals in the or maybe i'm misreading it maybe it's not about vomiting onto others it's just about we're slopping them then we vomit the, vomit them out and that's when they take damage you know what i think that's what it is Okay, next ability. Nourish. Inflict toxin damage on feasted enemies in Grendel's gut, one by one, absorb it. <laughs> Who thought of this frame, man? Absorbing nourishment to buff allies. Tap to cycle through buffs and hold to cast. What? Okay, so nourished energy, energy multiplier. I'm assuming that means that it increases the amount of energy we get from energy drops, right? Nourished armor, damage, and radius. So what we just do, what? We do toxin damage just in a radius and nourish strike damage multiplier. So hang on, we're buffing allies, presumably ourselves too. So maybe this is just flat. I'm not too sure about that radius though. Is that just like a damage aura or something? <laughs> This is so, this is actually really unique. Like so far, it's not about, if I'm reading this correctly, the whole frame is not about doing damage externally. It's about schlorping them, doing damage to them in the gut. That is so weird and unique. See, this is the kind of shit I like. Even if Grendel doesn't end up being my cup of tea, I, I already love that he exists. Regurgitate, violently puke out a bile soaked enemy from Grendel's gut 
turning the unfortunate creature into a toxic projectile. There you go. So there's our first ex external damage ability. So it does 300 toxin damage in a three meter radius. I mean, so by the by the looks of it, it it's an AOE of three meters. Oh, look at did you see the, the, the waggle of the feet? That's, oh, this is gonna be hilarious. And this does no, there's no energy. So can we just like, we just feast and then pew, 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 pew. And is it like one after the other of all the individuals in the stomach? Can you imagine? That would be really cool. <laughs> He's actually more complex than, than I expected to be honest. All right, last ability, pulverize. Powered by feasting, Grendel curls into a ball and knocks over anyone in his path. Jumping slams Grendel into the ground and generates a damaging shockwave. So he's like that one kid from Hook. Love that kid. So we're still doing toxin damage with this thing. So powered by the individuals in the stomach. So we've got a damage range from minimum 250. Is that impact? To 1000? And area damage 50 to 200, 250 to 1,000. Wow. Is there an upper limit to the amount of individuals we can put in the stomach though? It's not immediately noticeable, but by the fact that it's a range from 250 to 1,000, that either leads me to believe we can only have four individuals in the stomach or past four individuals that it doesn't increase damage further. Okay. This is probably the least interesting ability to me, but <laughs> I mean, look, we'll see how much Actually, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> We're just the, the, the way they, they go flying like bowling pins. That's fantastic. Let's have a look at the tips. Devour multiple enemies at once with feast by moving the reticle back and forth across desired targets. <laughs> okay, that's good. This is good information. So there's like there's a window of schlorpage. Nourish deals damage to enemies within Grendel's gut and can kill them. Right. So what happens to them if they die in the gut? Can they then not be shot out? Can they not be vomited out? Maybe they just disappear and we lose a counter on the on the gut count. <laughs> this, is, this is so weird, man. Cast Nourish with the Nourish Energy buff selected to multiply energy gains for buffed squad members. What? Hang on, what? So can we just get energy back? Hang on. Does that mean that the, the buff just gives us energy back? God, if that's the case, holy shit, man. Like, that, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know me, I love frames that can that can get their own energy back. Especially if you don't require an augment for it. Yeah, alright, yeah, I'm I'm here for it. Cast nourish with the nourished armor buff selected to splash toxin damage in an area around buffed squad members whenever they take damage or kill an enemy. There you go. So that, that five meter radius is when we take damage and when we kill an enemy. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Just taking damage and we're spewing toxin? Ah! Oh. Cast Nourish with a Nourish Strike buff selected to add toxin damage to buffed squad members' attacks. Cool. So presumably, maybe weapons, melee, and abilities, possibly? Interesting if true. I feel like that's probably gonna be less important solo, but hey, look, we'll see. As long as enemies are still alive in Grendel's gut, Nourish can be recast to reset the duration of an active buff. Okay, I mean, I'm, you know me, I'm mostly interested in the energy regains, but does, if that means that we can be constantly in positive energy regen, I don't know, I'm, I, I feel like, I feel like that's too optimistic a hope, but we'll see. Grendel will vomit stored enemies back out if he runs out of energy. Slow the energy drain from feast by regurgitating enemies in Grendel's gut. Ah, okay, so it's probably more drain like the drain stacks with the number of individuals in the gut. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Grendel can jump and double jump in Pulverize, dealing damage around him on impact. <laughs> yeah, okay. I already feel like Grendel is, is fairly ridiculous. When, when we hit that four, it's going to be peak ridiculi ridic ridic ridiculosity. Feasts damage over time on vomited enemies, damage on regurgitated enemies and nourishes self heal on cast all scale based on the level of enemies grendel devours i'm sorry what self heal does nourish just as like a default it self heals 
Health 20, I totally missed. What? We just heal when we do, but they don't nourish on the individuals in the gut? And if it scales based on enemy level, hang on. Does that mean we just instantly get more powerful in Steel Path, for example? Oh, he's almost like Nidus in that Nidus is really weak at the beginning. But, but once he gets into it, he gets just stupidly powerful. Sort of like that in that if, but, but in reverse, if the enemies are weak, you're weak. But if the enemies are strong, you're strong. If that's actually how it works, that is incredibly interesting. I don't know if it, it's, if it's good, if I will enjoy that, but I love that that exists. <laughs> All right, listen, I'm pogging up just a little bit too much and not in any of the standard ways. It seems like Grendel perhaps breaks the mold in many curious and interesting and unprecedented ways, and I'm ready. But first, let's do a little bit of fashion. What's this man got in the way of, ooh, look at that though. Or like, oh, he's like a big baby. I'm ready. I'm ready for that. But honestly, like we might need, oh, this is Sophie's choice. No, we're going for big baby. <laughs> like we got to make him perp, right? Oh, oh, actually, you know what? What if his soul situation is vaguely off-white? Like, what if he's a cream boy? What if he's a cream boy, guys? Let's make that perp as well accents yeah yes that's what i'm talking about right there okay so then if we go fully gold hear me out is that too far going fully go okay if we go fully gold there then his default skin has to be dark like so oh look at that is there a grendel prime i kind of feel like there's not anyway i mean you know you know how this goes heavy pink across the board that's not bad Ooh, look at the spine though i'm a i'm a very happy boy currently all right, I think that's going to be our Lord. You know what? <laughs> All right, let's have a look at mods. All right, hear me out. Corrosive projection, maybe, or energy siphon. Let's go energy siphon just for the rank up period. Maybe range rate. Yeah. I, All right. No, hang on. Hang on. What if we go? What if we go stretch so we can slurp from further away? We can we can vomit out a, a bigger splooge. And we can, sh we can regurgitate just a little, yeah, okay. I think I'm, I think I'm ready for that. And then like, let's just do a little bit of damage as well. You know what? Like that's potentially a, a, a pretty sizable damage increase on pulverize, oddly enough. Cause he's sort of already in the range of big numbers. I mean, tox, just the, the toxin damage from nourish. Is that just do, 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 to the individuals in the stomach? <laughs> Unfeasted enemies. Yeah, that's a lot of damage, man. Yeah, okay, you know what? I'm here for it. But like, what else? Maybe streamline. He's got 350 armor and 350 health. He's a he's a healthy boy. Okay, what? A, hang on, what about just like flow? And I wonder if we can get away with uh, with one of the auger mods here. We could do auger accord, and that's that's pretty much. It. So that's just more shields. It's <laughs> not necessarily, I mean, we can get away with that. I mean, we'll give it a try. You know what? Maybe not the best setup. Let's throw the arcanes on there and let's take them out of the stable. <laughs> oh man, he's so chonky. Honestly, this stance feels completely wrong with him. Anyway, let's, let's schlorp a lord. Oh, oh dude, this is like the thing. This is like John Carpenter's the thing. This is, oh, this is horrifying. But I'm the horror. Okay, hold, regurgitate. They're all dead. And then they the spew out the energy. Oh, what is going on? Why have I never seen anyone play Grendel? Like, every time I've played with you guys in the stream, I don't think I've ever seen anyone use Grendel. Is it just because he's, he's too horrendous? Look how horrendous he is. Regurgitate. Oh, and then we just get the energy back. What even is this? This is a horror movie for real. They just get digitized into my stomach. This like we're rank zero and we're already overpowered. What the shit is going on? <laughs> All right, we've unlocked Nourish. So let's fill our tummy tum tum real quick. Before we huff and, uh, and we puff. Hang on, I need more men in my stomach, please. Get inside me. Nourish armor. Nourish strike. Nourish energy. 
and then hold it. Oh! So what happens now? Then do we get energy when we vom? That I'm actually... Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm just looking at the interface here. I should be looking at what he's doing. All right, let's let's schlorp some more boys. So I feel like the, the ticket here, the meal ticket, pun fully intended, is to try and schlorp as many individuals at once to, to reduce the initial cost. Okay. So that, like, shoots them out, I guess. Maybe if they die, they get vomed. Because, like, we're doing a lot of damage with... With nourish, I think. Okay, let's let's pick a new nourishment. Nourish armor, nourish strike. Let's go for nourish armor. All right, here we go. There are many men. <laughs> you just paint them and they get slopped. One more, please. Oh, that's a war crime. Okay. Then I'm gonna smack. And and what we get? We get big armor gains. Vomit them out. Alright, it could well be a situation whereby I'm doing so much damage that I'm not even really appreciating what's going on. He's got so much armor to- like... He's, he's a tank lord? Plus. You know? Like, usually when you play a tank lord, you assume that he's not gonna do much D. Buddy, Grendel is D. Oh, baby. Alright, we've just unlocked Regurgitate. <laughs> but before we Regurgitate... We have to first just gurgitate. All right, everyone get into inside of my stomach, please. <laughs> it just yeeted him. Yeah, so it yeets one at a time. <laughs> okay, doesn't do a lot of D. Hang on, please get inside of my stomach. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Daniel Skoom, please. All right, here we go. <laughs> Can we rapid fire? We can? Alright, it seems like regurgitate is maybe not the greatest thing since sliced bread, but I have high hopes for it. Please, sir. I need you inside of me. Dude, does he actually get sluggish the more individuals he has? Okay, I would love some, like, big AoE. On the that actually, the regurgitate's pretty good. If you got a if you got a full party of five, then the regurgitate's not bad. <laughs> We've unlocked the four. Get inside of my stomach, please. Let's go. Oh, full control. <laughs> this is so stupid. It lasts or we can pick up we can get energy while we're in this form. What? Is this just, is this the frame? Is this default peak Grendel? All right, now we're starting to drain. Now we're draining. Okay, <laughs> what in the world, my dude? Let's try that again. <laughs> he just doesn't stop. Oh, look at it. Oh, this is a war crime. The, you know what? This is worse than a war crime. Guys, this is like a- this is a war insult. This is a war disgrace. Generations are not gonna feel good about themselves after this mission. So maybe does it drain- it seems to drain rapidly past a certain point. Let's get out of here. And schlorp some more. We always must schlorp, man. You know how I feel about schlorping frames. Oh, buddy. You think you wouldn't get schlorped? Think again. I'm in. Oh, it's a- it, we've only got one boy and it's a tiny ball? That's so adorable! So the- the- the bigger the men, the bigger the ball, which is not always the case in nature. Just <laughs> look at this. Let's go. Let's legitimately go. Oh, and then he just explodes. This <laughs> is so good. Alright, firstly, shit didn't start to get difficult until 20 minutes into survival. I want that notarized, carved into immaculate Italian stone. Secondly, I need to hit the wiki on exactly how nourish works. So anecdotally, I felt more tanky when I used nourished armor and I assume any damage listed here is damage to the individuals in the stomach. But then there's the radius on, on nourished armor. Now there is that the, 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 added armor to allies in that area. 
I don't, I don't know, man. And then energy multiplier, I, I straight up do not understand how that works. Just straight up. I'm not even going to try to speculate because I just don't know. So I need to figure out how that works. Furthermore, nourishing strike is that damage multiplier to individuals in the gut. If that's the case, that's a little more straightforward. <laughs> All right, let's hit the wiki. Oh, okay. So nourished energy for the time in which it is ticking over, it applies that multiplier to any energy gain, any energy gain, but it doesn't give energy itself. So, and it says here, even with Zenuric Dash, with Energizing Dash. So if I pop nourishing energy with individuals in my stomach, then Dash, I will get more energy than normal from that. It also includes, it says Energy Vampire, Energy Siphon, which we have but maybe that is not severe, like it's only 0.6, so maybe I'm not really, like I'm not seeing it, you know, and it's not enough to counteract the inherent drain from, from the schlop, from Feast. That would make sense. That sort of informs our building too, because then we can build towards regaining energy and we can just regain so much more energy by using nourished en energy. I really, actually quite like that. Would it be simpler to just have an ability that gives energy back? Yes. <laughs> Would that be kind of nicer? Yes. But like this, we, 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 we can choose how we get our energy back. Which, honestly, is pretty damn cool, man. Right, and nourished armor. So the radius, it's spewing toxic shit. When we take damage, every one second? That's not how I expected that to work at all. And Nourish Strike is applying the damage to the weapons. Oh man, okay. That's not at all what I thought was going on. But I mean, I'm, I'm glad I sorted that out. So, right, now I know how to use Nourished Energy because just straight up I was not using it correctly at all. Wow, man, what would I add differently? I have no freaking idea. Obviously, I can't add anything extra right now. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Um, what's it called? Is it... Um is it Hunter Adrenaline? Converts 45% of damage on health to energy. This would be huge, right? Because you slop, you pop nourished energy, and then you just take a little bit of damage, and that'll give you, like, big energy back. I mean, guys, this isn't Bush League, I assure you. Like, that would be big pog. That being said, I think I'm... I'm I even the, no, you know what? I'm putting Hunter Adrenaline on... on we, like, we take enough damage, man. He's big, he's bulky, he's fat. He's a thick boy, and he should be proud of it. And I feel deep in my core that he is proud of it. All right, my man's got three augments. First up, Gourmand, Feast Augment. Instead of energy, consumes 200 health on cast and 30 health drain. What? We can turn him into a blood mage? I'm not sure how I feel about that. Like, on the surface, that's super cool, but... I mean, we can get health back just at, at a flat rate with the two, regardless of which one, which flavor we cast, right? So it could be dope. Like, if we just build for big health, it could be incredibly dope. Plus, he's got the armor. We throw adaptation on there as well. Oh, we could be hugely survivable. You guys, in the comments, you guys let me know. Let me know what you think about that. Am I in the right headspace about this? That could be incredibly dope. Next up, hearty nourishment. Nourish augment. Clear status and gain two seconds of status immunity for each victim in Grendel's stomach. I don't know. I feel like that could be big pog for Steel Path. It doesn't immediately grab me. It doesn't, doesn't fill my dreams with, with pogs, but I can see how it would be useful. It's, like, it's a utilitarian ability. Not a pog ability, but perhaps a necessary one. Catapult. Pulverize Augment. Middle click to launch Grendel in your aim direction. Cost 10 Yenergy. <laughs> I mean, I feel like if you're going for, for a Pulverize build specifically, <laughs> sure. For me, maybe not. I, I actually really, really like just the, just slopping everyone in sight. Two, 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 two. And then letting them take damage, and then spewing them out. That, that is the gameplay I want. I knew we were in for memes. I didn't expect we were in for Pog. 
I'm actually super into this. But but here's the thing. I can see there being lots of different play styles and, and lots of builds. Like you could build for Pulverize. I'm not too sure about Regurgitate. But Feast and Nourish, I'm 100% here for. <laughs> All right, so let's do the time jump. We'll rank them up on stream. I'll get your thoughts. And I'll see you in a hot second. Tenno. Just slopping up the nugs. Just gobbling them up. All right, listen. Grendel, though. He's fantastic. I'm not sure if he's a meme frame, but I like him. If he isn't good, then I like him in the same way that I like Hydroid. If he is good, then I just like him. No qualifiers. It's fine. I gotta say, I, I did realize that I, I have Gourmand already. It was given to me by the uh, creator program. And I, I wasn't aware that Gourmand was an entirely new augment, and that's why it was given to me. Uh, so I'm using it right now. I'm not 100% sold on it, unfortunately. Like, right now, my health is pretty low. So I'm gonna try and get some back. But the amount that you get back from, from Nourish doesn't really seem to be enough. Now, sometimes I'm finding I am getting a lot back from Nourish, but it's very, very rare. And I don't know what triggers the increased amount. So let's let's just try slopping more boys. Slap it. See, it really wasn't much there. And now we're in a position where I don't really have the health to, to actually keep going. That being said, that's that's more an issue with Gourmand. Maybe I'm not using it correctly. Uh, maybe I need to uh, learn its nuances a little more. That being said, without Gourmand, just running off energy, Provided I build towards, like, big energy, and I'm not just talking streamline, I'm talking flow, man. Provided I, I build towards that, we're golden, don't even trip. He's just the one and the two. So, interestingly enough, I couldn't find any Grendel mains uh, when we did the stream today. I'm like, yo, where are my Grendel mains at? Crickets and Tumbleweed. And then some people were like, yo, are there any Grendel mains? Like, <laughs> in the entire Warframe community? So, it seems like... It's more the difficulty of, of getting him, the, the missions you have to do to get him, and maybe putting people off. Which is a shame, because he's, he's very unique. He's a very interesting frame. Just, I'm not too sure I'd necessarily recommend you run him with Gourmand, because I'm really struggling right now. Um, Alright, let's 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 get back to the Orbiter, and let's, let's talk about Grendel. Alright, listen, this is the build as it currently stands. Don't worry too much about Augur Accord. That's just in there because I had the exact right amount of space for it. So we've got Streamline, Intensify. Streamline does, in fact, uh, help with Gourmand, as does Prime Continuity. So uh, Duration will lower the drain on Feast, even if you're using Gourmand. So that's great. I think, I think if you're going to use Gourmand... This is the way to do it. Like, we're, we're on the right track. I don't think I've done anything too egregious here. Um, of course, we've got Vitality as well. So, Max Health is currently at 2,310. And I don't know, man. I just, I feel like maybe as long as you keep your health just like around 1,800, possibly, you can get away with it. But I would need to... I'd, I'd need a bigger sample size. I'd need to talk to some other people using Gourmand. Uh, and I need to use it for a lot longer myself. So this is what I was running before I slotted Gourmand. And this was working for me. Even solo. It was really, really important that we had flow, had that big energy pull. Uh, streamline alone wasn't enough to mitigate the severe energy drain on Grendel. Now, what else can we do here? We can throw duration on here, I think. So that should lower the drain. Yeah, so we're down from 1.5 to 0.78 on drain if we take that off. Okay, so like, you know, it's not a huge amount, but it's it, it all adds up. It, it, it interfaces with streamline and we've got a really low drain there, so that could work as well. But it was also suggested that I go nuts with armor as well. That being said, hear me out. We can stack our own armor, right? With nourish. So I'm sort of inclined to go with duration here. That's also going to increase the amount of time that nourish is running 
which I quite like as well, because just straight up, I'm going one and two and sort of ignoring three and four. And that was the general sentiment of chat as well. And I'm, I'm happy to run it like that because that's what I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying slurping, buffing, vomiting them up and going nuts. The damage from Regurgitate just doesn't doesn't seem to be hitting the mark here. And Pulverize, I feel like, is, is for a bit of fun, but... Look, I don't know. I don't know. I like one and two. I like the gameplay of one and two. Oh man, listen, I didn't know what to expect. I, I expected memes. We got memes. What I didn't expect was was also pogs. I really, really quite like Grendel. As you can see, I've I've slapped on the the neon skin, which I got from the creator program recently, along with the Gormand augment. Um it's I mean it's dope. It it looks dope just normally default. That's, it's, that's dope as hell, man. It looked dope before when I had this golded up. That's dope as hell, you know? But when it's silvered, when it's chrome to the nines. Oh, buddy. Oh. Uh. <laughs> so moral of the story, don't judge a book by its cover. Because he might look like a bit of a slow lord, but he ends up being one hell of a shlorp lord. And if there's any sort of lord that we respect on this channel, it's shlorp lords. Gobbling up those nugs all day and seven to four times on a Sunday afternoon. But for the moment, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments below the like button. I want to I wanna know, are they Grendel mains? I need to know. I'm baffled that, that I haven't found any yet. I need to know your strats. Have you played with Gourmand yet? What do you think of it? Am I doing something wrong? Is it, is it respectable? And I'm just not giving it its, its due diligence here. Let me know. Be excellent to each other and I'll see you next time. Ricky Summer. Out.